So you want to learn how to add or remove the empty spaces between blocks on your WordPress website? Let me show you how it works. To demonstrate how I've done this, I've created a simple page with two images, one image here and one image here. Now let's say if I want to add additional spacing between those two images, what most beginners would do is go here and add a paragraph block. Let's say insert after paragraph and just select the paragraph block and add a few spaces, right? And then you update the post and you hope that the spacing will actually appear. Let's check the post out. I haven't refreshed it. So let me refresh. And the page has reloaded and nothing changes. The spacing did not appear. Why? Because paragraph block does not help in this case. All these blocks are not useful. So how do we actually add space between blocks? There's a simple way. Let me just first remove these paragraph blocks, which are not helpful. I'll just use the keyboard shortcut to quickly remove these blocks. And the last one also is done. Now, if you want to increase the spacing between two blocks, you don't have to add a paragraph block. You have to have a, add a special block, which is called the spacer block. Let me demonstrate. What I'll do is again, use the navigation option. I'll click and say, hey, uh, add after or insert after. And in the block, instead of a paragraph, what I'll do is just type in forward slash and type in SPA. And you see the spacer block come up. I'll select the spacer block. I'll close this menu. And now the spacer block, I'll just open these settings up. And now you see the spacer block has simple setting. How much height do you want to add between two images? So right now it's set to 100 pixels. Let's say I set it to 50 pixels. You see the spacer block will immediately change and reflect on the, uh, the screen. If I make it 150, let's say, let me just type it in. The spacer block will immediately increase in size. But what if you don't want to use the pixels right here? You can also click and choose different uh, various ways of measuring the distance. But the easiest way I think is the just select and drag a little bit. And this will give you an idea on screen that how much space you are adding right between two blocks. So let's say I was happy with somewhere around 124 pixels. I'll update the post. I'll go to this page. I'll refresh it once again. And now you see the space has actually changed. And just to give you another demonstration, if I just make it really large, I've saved the post, I quickly go back, I refresh, and the spacing will increase. So that's how you add spacing between two blocks using the spacer block. But what if you want to remove or reduce or completely eliminate the space between two blocks? Will the spacer block help in that case? Can we try it? Let's take an example or let's try it out. What if I do minus 25 or minus 20? Let's try it out, pixels, refresh. And it does help, but I don't think it removed the entire space. Let's try negative uh, 100 or something. Let's, let's select the spacer block. And again, you can see instantly that uh, if when I try the negative value, the spacer block, uh, spacer block defaults to the uh, default value, which is zero. So to summarize, you can add more space between blocks using the spacer block, but you cannot take space away or reduce space between two blocks using the spacer block. Now you might be asking, Yuvraj, I want to learn how to remove the space between or eliminate the space between two blocks. How do I do that? Well, the simple answer to that is CSS. Yes, we are going to work with CSS or cascading style sheets to quickly remove or I'll teach you how to quickly remove spaces between two blocks. And don't worry, it might sound intimidating. We are going to mess with a little bit of code, but it's completely safe and it's not going to mess up your site. And it's very easy to understand if you just keep an open mind. All right, let me show you how it's done. So first what I'll do is instead of going to the post, I'll go to my customizer. So I'll go to appearance, I'll go to customize, which will open up the customizer on the site. And inside the customizer, you'll see additional CSS options right here. What, I'm, what we are going to do in essence is add a new CSS class on the website and then use that class to remove the space between two blocks. I'll explain when we actually type in the code. So let me click additional CSS. And this is the segment for additional CSS or where you can type in additional CSS. Now I'm going to type a piece of code here and I'm going to explain what it actually means so that you don't feel overwhelmed. You don't see, uh, you don't feel that this is too complex to understand. I'll explain everything. So I'll type it in, I'll type in dot remove hyphen bottom space zero space curly brackets enter. So the code is not complete yet, but just wanted to highlight what I'm doing. I'm defining a new CSS class. The dot in the beginning represents that this is a class and this is the name of the class, remove bottom space 
zero. This is the name of the class which we'll use to reference this class. You can name it anything else, but uh, having a descriptive name makes it easier for you to remember why this class was added in the first place, right? So right now I've defined the class, but what, the, what will the class do? If I attach this class to a particular element, what needs to happen? Let me define that here. I'll type it in, I'll type in margin. And you can see suggestions come up already on the screen, margin bottom, colon, space, zero, semicolon. So now let me explain once again what I've done. I've just added a value or a property to this class. And this class is saying that whenever this class is added to a particular element, make sure the bottom margin, the margin on the bottom is set to zero. All right. Right now, uh, again, you might be thinking, hey, I want to reduce the margin on the side or on the top. How do I do that? I'll explain everything. Right now, just uh, take this as an example and let your brain run wild with creativity. Okay, so I'll publish this right now. I'll also, what I'll do is copy this name of the class without the dot, okay? Without the dot, this is important. I'll copy it. I'll go back to the post, which I'm working with right now, same post exactly. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, right now you might be thinking, where did the space go? Because I haven't selected the block. As soon as I select the block, the spacing will appear for the caption. What I'm gonna do is select the block, go to the block settings. So on the right-hand side, you can see the block settings. Scroll to the bottom, you'll see advanced. You see title attribute, HTML anchor, and additional CSS classes, exactly what we did. We created a new CSS class, and this is a WordPress feature. You write a CSS class and just specify that you want this class to be attached to a certain object, in this case, this image block. And just to clarify, this works with image blocks, paragraph blocks, every block has the same feature. So it doesn't matter if you're image using images or paragraph. I just type in the name of the CSS class here and save my post, right? So I'll save the post and now nothing changed here. And if I go to the actual preview without refreshing, you'll see nothing changed here as well. The spacing is still present, but let me refresh the page. Control R and instantly see the margin has been reduced to zero because now the CSS class is doing its magic and the CSS class is very simple to understand as I showed you. Remove bottom space, I just named it. I added a property, bottom margin is set to zero and just that's it. Very simple to understand. But now you might be thinking, Yuraj, this looks even uglier because now there's no spacing in between the blocks. I wouldn't have it, just a light, small margin, not the big margin that was present earlier, just a small bit of margin. Well, yes, you can do that. And I'll uh, tell you a creative way to manage this on your site. Uh, instead of just telling you how to add a small margin, I'll tell you the options of creating or having any kind of margin that you, you can use throughout the site for different scenarios. Let's go back to the custom CSS options. And what we're gonna do is copy the entire code here once again. Just press enter one more time. So one blank line, paste it again. So I've just copied pasted the entire same code, but what I'm gonna do is change two things. I'm gonna change the name of the class. So instead of zero, I'm gonna name it five. And instead of margin bottom as zero, I'm gonna name it five as well. So what I've done, let me explain. I've created a class here, which we already used, but I've created another class with the name is different, right? So remove bottom space zero and remove a bottom space five. So in the class which says, or with the name is five, the bottom margin is actually set to five, not zero. So now let's save it, go back to the post. Let's change the CSS class from zero to five. Let's update the post. I'll go here, page is not refreshed yet. Let me refresh it. And instantly five pixels is now added as a margin. Pretty awesome, right? So now what you can do is instead of just uh, settling with zero margins or zero uh, say space between blocks, you can just create copies of this class. So if, let's say you want to have one more class which has 10 pixels, which, right? You can just copy this or seven pixels, just make a couple of copies. And then whenever you want to utilize this class, just remember the name of the class, add to a particular block and the margin will be reduced. And if you want to change the property from bottom to top, because right now we are working on an image which is here and the next image is on the bottom. But let's say you want to work with an image like this where there's nothing on top, you just want to reduce the margin. Just change this property from margin bottom to margin top. Technically it works with left and right as well. So you can experiment and work around it. So you can uh, just work with this and create multiple copies of this and just name it differently. So instead of, let's say if I want to work with a margin on top, I'll rename the class to re uh, remove top margin or top space and then zero, five, and then just reduce the number of pixels I want or change, change the properties. And that way I'll have just simple classes that I can copy and paste, go to a single element on the website 
add that class and then the spacing will be managed automatically. Now, of course, you need maybe just a couple of variations because if you want to add more space, you can already do that with the spacer block. This is just for removing the space or removing the space, which is less than default of what WordPress already offers you in between blocks. So that's how you do it. Very simple, very simple to understand. And of course, if you still feel overwhelmed, you feel, okay, this is not complex or this is not something that you can do. Again, it's very easy. I probably, uh, I'm not a developer, I'm not a designer. I can understand and I try to explain it uh, the easiest way possible. So if still you have questions about this, you can leave that in the comments. Right now, on the block editor, this is how you reduce or add spacing between blocks. That's completely done. But what about page builders, right? You, you can use page builders as well. So let me explain how to add or remove spacing between blocks when you're using a page builder. So let's try to add or remove spacing between blocks when we are using a page builder. In this case, I'm using seed plot, but I believe every page builder on the market has the same functionality. The interface might be a little different. You can figure it out yourself. It's not very complex. So let's say I'm working with this section right here. Our, our new website is on the way. Let's say I want to increase the spacing between this headline and this block. There are a couple of ways to do it, but the easiest way again is using the spacer block. I can take the spacer block, add it between the blocks, and now I can just customize the spacer block by clicking it. And now I have the height option here. I can change this and the space block works. It's very easy. The other method is to change the margins. Again, what we did in the CSS class is just we defined a hard-coded margin, but because we are using a page builder, you can do that visually. So I can click here, go to the advanced tab, spacing, and spacing defines margins already. So you can see the top margin has already been defined as 91 pixels. We have the right margin, we have the bottom margin, and we have the left margin. What if I want to increase the spacing between these and the headline below it? The bottom margin will help, right? So what I can do is just click, 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 and you might not see it immediately. So let me just take a big number and type it in, 25. And now instantly see the spacing is being affected. So if I want to do 50, I can do that as well. Now, what if I want to reduce the space? Well, here's the best part. You can use negative values as well. At least in seed plot, different page builders have different, I say, workarounds to this. So let's say if I want to reduce the spacing between the blocks by negative 10 pixels from what the default one was. I'll just type in negative 10, and you see the spacing is now getting reduced. And I'll just give you a quick demonstration. I'll just reduce the spacing even further. I can literally do this, that I can overlay both of them on top. And sometimes this is a de desired effect, of course, not with text, but sometimes you have overlapping images, you want to create a specific effect. This is where you actually achieve it. So let's say I want just, just to keep it reasonable, I'll just make it negative 10 pixels and just click and click somewhere else. Now you see it looks a little tighter. The spacing has been reduced between both the blocks. And it's so easy to do, right? There's no complicated stuff to do. That's what seed plot can do for you. So if you are looking to create pages with a page builder, choose seed plot. If you're already working with a classic editor and you still wanted to understand how to reduce the spacing between blocks, then I just demonstrated how to do it with very simple CSS, nothing to worry about. It is very, very safe on your site. It's, it won't break your site unless you actually take that class and apply to something else it won't uh, hurt any other or it won't change anything else on the site. It's very safe to use. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this tutorial, make sure to hit the like button. And if you enjoy learning about WordPress, simple to easy, easy to follow along tutorials about WordPress, then make sure to subscribe to this channel as well. My name is Yuvraj. You're watching WP Beginner. I'll catch you in the next video very soon. Take care.